too much of a connection there, I think. Uh, there's a great respect that goes both ways, for sure. I love the guy. Uh, but I guess we've both been around for a while, you know, more than anything else, and competed a few times, and we've each won and lost. Uh, but it's never been an individual sort of thing. He's always been a team guy, and, you know, hopefully I'm the same way. What does uh, George Hill bring uh, to the Cavs? Georgie. Uh, just saw him last night. Uh, he brings uh, just a totally selfless uh, type of game. Uh, he's a great teammate. Uh, he'll do whatever he's got to do to win. You know, skill-wise, you know, he can shoot the three and he can also drive it. And he plays solid defense. Uh, he's fun to play with. Uh, he gets along well with everybody. So he's, he's just a huge plus for the team. For the last, I don't know, I'd say really since LeBron went to Miami, teams seem to be fixated on trying to put three stars together. Can you, is it still possible to win a championship, do you think, without three stars on a team? Well, you know, I don't have a crystal ball, but I guess we'll see. You know, we'll see what happens as the year progresses. Uh, you know, um, it depends what your definition of star is, I guess, you know, to some degree. Well, but Golden State for sure has a pretty good definition of that, I would, <laughs> I would proffer. Uh, I don't think anybody else is going to meet that definition, you know, as we speak now. But uh, teams try to get as talented as they can, that's for sure. You mentioned George Hill. How much do you think he can benefit from being in a situation like this, playing, playing again for a championship? Well, I mean, you know, it sound trite, but anybody that's on a court with LeBron gets better. Uh, so it'll, it'll be a symbiotic sort of relationship. You know, they're going to benefit from each other. Uh, just because George is that kind of guy, and obviously uh, LeBron is, is that talented in so many ways. Is Danny Green good to go today? Yeah, we're going to uh, – he's pretty much over. He was, he was sick, but uh, he feels pretty good today. So uh, we'll, we'll play him. Any thoughts of what's going on over in the college basketball world about all the scandals? Well, it, it, obviously it's not good, but I'm not – familiar with it enough to know exactly what these agents are doing and not doing. I hear all the stuff just like you all do and, and I read it and it's obviously ugly and negative and I listen to the coaches that have said it's really bad for college basketball and it's pretty obvious that it is I guess but you know exactly how it all works and everything I don't really know but uh, it's, it, it's a shame because it does make the game you know look bad. And the game is the game, you know. It's people who make things look bad. Uh, so the game is still what it is and what we all love. So to have it be smirched like that by greedy people, you know, is really the sad part about it. It's, it's not the kids. It's, it's the adults around it that make it ugly. Do you think there's any good reason for amateurism in college basketball? Or is that becoming kind of an outdated goal? I think you got to ask guys like Harry Edwards, you know, okay. those guys. They're a lot more skilled and, and uh, erudite than I am on the subject. It was fun when everything was amateur, you know, in the Olympics and all that kind of thing. Uh, maybe that's kind of a Pollyanna sort of attitude, but uh, that was a lot of fun. You weren't taking money under the table at the Air Force? <laughs> uh, no, there were other places where I was just reeling it in, though. <laughs> <laughs> I needed buckets. I needed yeah. buckets to get the quarters I needed to go to Barrow's Pizza on Friday nights. So, <laughs> so I used those kids like a bar of soap. <laughs> good help. So, but it's good to be here with uh, to be able to watch LeBron. I just have to make sure that I don't just stare at him all night like I did when I first came in the league and played the Bulls, and I would just watch Michael the whole time, you know. And Larry Brown would elbow me like, "You, you gonna do something? You gonna add that?" I said, "Coach, I, I gotta watch. I gotta see this guy." So you, you get like that with LeBron too, because he does so many things. And I hope he keeps speaking. I'm sure he will. That was 